This is the Korean Peninsula during the night. The border between North and South Korea can be seen clearly. This shows how radically different these two countries with a shared history are today. It is not just South Korea's electric grid that is much more developed. They are one of the world's most technologically advanced countries, while North Korea is one of the least. But new research suggests that North Korea might be better connected than previously thought. Researchers have searched up cell towers from satellite images and plotted out cell coverage around the country, which is represented by the blue dots. This map shows that you can call and text far outside the large cities, deep into the countryside. It is estimated that between 50 and 80% of North Korean homes own at least one cell phone. These phones are made to only be able to show government approved content. The networks around the country are all the use 3G technology, while their counterpart in South Korea is already preparing for 6G. Even with the restrictions and older technology, phones keep growing in popularity because of the ability to easily call or text friends and family remain a really attractive reason for getting a phone. The cell phones also underpin North Korea's private economy by making it easier to communicate with suppliers, buyers and distributors necessary to do business. This has enabled the private economy to grow in North Korea, which today makes up a large part of the whole economy in North Korea. Even though this telecom network does not come close to their neighbor in the south, North Korea is still a country connected by a widespread telecom network.